What's up guys, Ken and Danny here. We have already been talking about bike sizing. We know how to find a right size bike for us. Uh, we have already two different episodes about that. We know what kind of dimensions stock and reach we should know uh, in order to find the one that will be able to fit into our body and our riding style. Today we are beginning bike fitting, meaning that we will be fitting the bike I already have into my needs. So uh, today we are talking about basics and first steps of bikes, bike fitting, which is the saddles, the choice of the saddle. And then in the next part, we'll be talking about another thing that will not go anywhere, which is the pedals, cleats and our shoes. So today, the saddles. Uh, I wanna just um, give you three simple steps on how to find a right saddle for us. And finding right saddle is very important because I know so many guys who just gave up cycling because they thought that cycling is uncomfortable and sitting on this, on this saddle is just unhealthy for our body and maybe especially some men think that they won't be able to become fathers when using this kind of stuff, which is just untrue when we find the right one for us, not just good enough, but the right one, the perfect one, we'll be able to cycle hundreds and thousands of kilometers in a pretty much comfortable uh, position. We'll be happy riders. All right, let's just turn to those three steps. Step number one, in order to find a right saddle for you, you have to understand, you have to be aware of what is your riding style? Are you going to use the bike in the city? Are you going to be racing on the, on the roads or going for some cross-country marathons? Uh, let me just explain to you this first step by sitting on my bike. This is a race road bike, Canada K10, you already know this one. And on my Prologo um, saddle, I'm feeling very good on this bike in this position. But now one thing changes for me. Uh, I've assembled this small aero bar on my handlebars and I'm going to... Um, I would like to learn more about the aerodynamics on my bicycles uh, and also uh, prepare my body for different position. What changes right away, it changes the feel on my saddle. I already know that I have to change the angle of the saddle, but also most likely the saddle itself as well so just different riding style the the aero position and i already do feel this saddle woo, will give me so much numbness at least in this position now if you're going to be cycling to your work so on some commuter bikes you will most likely be in some kind of upright position and then the angle of your pelvis changes on the saddle and so changes the area on the saddle where you actually place uh, your body weight so it's very very important for us to understand what is my riding style uh, and where i'm going to be biking and also how long am i going to be biking let's turn to the second step and the second step says it all comes down to actually sitting on the saddle in order to decide whether it's the right one of course, uh, you can find many tutorials on how to measure your pelvis or how to measure your sit bones um, or actually the distance between them. It's okay, but those data will not give you uh, the answer of which model of so many different models, I'm going to show you this in a minute, is the right one for you. Of course, uh, our sit bones, uh, the sit bones is the very important factor but not the only one and not even the most important one where are the sit bones these are two tumors sorry which we can find right here just right here and if you are going to sit on on the floor or some rough uh, surface you will feel those two points on your butt and these are those tumors these are our sit bones and the distance of our sit bones or the size of our pelvis will also determine the kind of the saddle we are going to use but it's not the only one factor it's it's so many that's why it comes down actually to sitting on the saddle so you don't have to learn on how to measure your pelvis if you're buying the saddle online buy 20 saddles and send back 19 finding just the right one for you 
And let's turn to the third step, which is actually the principle. And it says that the saddle that may feel comfortable just at first glance for your butt is not necessarily the one that will be the best for you on your long rides or just on the type of terrain you are going to use your bike in. I'm gonna show you different saddles in this video, but before I do that, I will just show you one of these. This is my 20 years of experience in cycling to find a right saddle for me. This is uh, a Specialized saddle. Um, I do find Specialized saddles very high quality and very good shaping. Um, I can do thousands of kilometers or miles on this one. Uh, whether it be a cross-country bike or my road bike or even uh, training on a turbo trainer. Training indoor on turbo trainer is the best test in my opinion for determining whether the saddle is good for your shape of your butt and not only in different different organs uh, of your body. This is the old one as you can see it was uh, quite a lot used uh, but I'm still using it and I was happy to find something that also fits very well to me and I love this one is San Marco Espied lovely lovely saddle as you can see uh, I do prefer those with a hole in it uh, I will tell you why in just in the minute but I also have my Kendall K10 with this standard it just came with this standard Pro logo um, it's Kappa Evo I think model saddle and I like this one very much I was uh, pretty much surprised that I didn't have to change the original saddle from the new bike that I bought it has some smart design here, it's called Active Density. It shows you like 60, 50, 40. It's all about the density of the filler that is it's inside the saddle. And now very important thing, when I started using this one, I felt much more comfortable than on this one. Because this one gives me much more support uh, and this one is much more rough and, and it has so much shaping. It doesn't have so much, so much surface uh, supporting my uh, body. But now, when I'm uh, cycling for more than two hours, then this one is just the best. At least those two would be the cells uh, I will use for a longer ride. When I'm doing now my training session for maybe around 60 minutes on my Turbo Trainer, this one is uh, really perfect but these will be much better for my longer rides. Now let's turn to the different saddles. Um, I will show you first how this San Marco was sold. It was sold with, with uh, such a little box or something. Uh, and we do have some information about the saddle when we buy it. It says here narrow and here it says waved. Here San Marco explain that wide saddle is the one wider than 140 millimeters and narrow narrower that has less than 140 millimeters of the width and then we do have a flat shaped saddles and waved saddles um, and uh, some people would like to tell you that you have to know the distance between your uh, sit bones so that you will know whether you need like 140, 130, 120 millimeters uh, of the width of your saddle and then uh, whether you prefer flat or waved but it's not just like that and I'm gonna tell you why for example this one is waved but you can as well buy a flat saddle that will be flexible because uh, saddles will be more or less flexy and when it flexes under the, the weight of your body it be becomes waved for you so uh, you don't really need even those informations i would say because it all come down to remember step number two to sitting on the saddle and step number three uh, at first glance the saddle may be comfortable but it doesn't necessarily mean it will be the best one for you uh, for your long rides and for the long run for like months or years of use if you think now that it can be quite complicated you are right and you do need some experience in order to find the best saddle for you so don't worry uh, when you want to stick to cycling just believe what i say you can find a really good saddle for you even if you are overweight you will be able to find a saddle that will support your weight and your butt 
better than my saddle is supporting uh, my butt. It just needs some time and if you are just buying your first bike, uh, you have to gain some experience. The other thing is also that if you live in the place where you have some good local uh, bike shops, you go there and see those test models. Uh, these are these are just like a standard uh, Physic Tundra M3 and Physic Antares R R3, for example, but different color and um, with written test on them. I bought them in quite good price. Uh, you will have these informations here, like the model, the length, the width, the shell, the wing, uh, the the rail. I'm often using the same uh, saddle for cross country and my road bike, but this is just me and my preferences. You just sit on those saddles and trying to get into the position that you are going to be cycling on your bicycle and then you will be able to determine which one is the best one. And now, if you find the right saddle for you, I mean, uh, you found the saddle that maybe is good, you buy one and then you go, go for many rides and after a couple of weeks or months you will just say this saddle is great you go back to that store and buy maybe two other same saddles because the models will change in the future but the shape of the saddle uh, it's something that you already you have already tested and you will most likely like for next year two or many or even many many years i do prefer these ones because when i'm going for my long rides on the saddles without the hole just here inside I do feel some numbness. I do have to ride a lot off the saddle in order to bring my blood flow back to my, to my organs, which is um, not good for me. That's why these saddles are the best. I told you that this one is not the most comfortable just at first glance because uh, it's not very soft. But what is also very good in the saddle, I really do recommend you try San Marco Espide is that the gel or the filler in the saddle, it's quite deep. As you can see, I can really push my finger quite deep. So when I'm on some rough roads and it's, uh, it applies both to, to mountain bike and road bike, I do feel then that this saddle on the long run is just good for me. Here is also the example of the saddle from a time trial bike. Uh, as I told you, when I go to the aero position on my bike, my Prologo Kappa, uh, is no longer that uh, comfortable for me. As you can see, this one, Chrono Aero, it's uh, quite, quite an old uh, model. It's from our BH Global Cycling Triathlon bike, lovely bike. You can see how flat is, it is here in the front section so that you can lean more forward and you are transferring more of your, of your uh, body weight to the front on, of the saddle and this saddle will really support you and also this one is really soft here and it's something that you need when you are leaning so much on your aero bars. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, it's not a rocket science but you do need some experience in order to find the right saddle for me but I really really want to assure you that you are able to find the one that will really fit you and along with a whole bike fitting uh, that I'm gonna show you in the next uh, parts, uh, you will be able to, fe to feel comfortable, to feel awesome and stay awesome when cycling. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon in the next episode. Bye bye, regards from Ken and Danny.